Are you a healthy young woman, yet you want to try your hand at a low-carb nutrition plan for the sake of your health? Maybe you want to change your cholesterol or blood fat levels. I'll be showing you some science-based information on a study that investigated that very situation to offer you some answers. If you'll come along with me, let's understand a bit of the science together. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. As is normal, let's discuss a bit of the study design before we delve deeper into the data and the interpretations of that data. We need to know what we're working with. If you're interested in a more in-depth look, be sure to check out the study and my notes that are attached to this content for you. The researchers recruited 10 young, healthy, normal weight women and put these women on one of two weight maintenance diets, meaning both diets were designed so these women wouldn't lose weight. The first was a low carbohydrate diet consisting of a majority fat with 60% of their diet coming from dietary fat. And by nature of the diet, they consumed less than 10% of their diet from carbohydrates and the rest was from protein. The other diet, labeled a low-fat diet, was made up of only 25% dietary fat and higher carbohydrates, making up 55% of their diet. All of the participants underwent each diet for four weeks, which means the researchers took blood measurements at the baseline before implementing either diet, then at the two-week mark, and then again at the four-week mark. This means we can compare the diets against themselves, low-carb versus low-fat but it also means that we can compare the incremental change from the baseline versus the four week mark on each diet. Some notable points I should point out are that the diets were largely the same in energy content, although the low carb diet consumed more saturated fat and unsaturated fat, as well as a dietary cholesterol. Also, the women lost a small amount of weight on both diets, but no more on one than the other. Any other differences can be seen on the accompanying notes, so check it out for yourself. Now, let's discuss the data a bit. Did these women experience differences in blood cholesterol and blood fats? If we turn our attention to total cholesterol, we'll see by comparison from diet versus diet, there was a significantly elevated level of cholesterol when these women were on a low carb diet. Interestingly, when comparing from the beginning against the two and four week mark of being on the diet, there was a significant increase in total cholesterol over time as well. Meanwhile, there were reductions or no change in cholesterol when on the low fat diet. This held true for LDL cholesterol as well. Also interesting, HDL cholesterol only increased with the low carbohydrate diet. Finally, blood fats, known as triglycerides, decreased with the low carb diet, with an increase in the low fat condition that normalized after four weeks. Some intriguing results here, no doubt. The researchers point out that other studies have shown that diets higher in unsaturated fat increase HDL cholesterol levels while reducing blood fats in normal weight healthy men. So this data is consistent with those studies. It is entirely possible that the type of fat may also be a major factor in the effects experienced in the blood. This study had relatively high saturated fat levels, for example. They also mentioned that increases in HDL cholesterol could also be explained by greater production of the particle by the liver or coming from the intestines, but also they speculate that it could be due to increased activity of an enzyme known as lipoprotein lipase, or LPL. LPL cuts fat molecules like triglycerides, breaking them down into other molecules, which might be incorporated into the generation of HDL particles. This would have a twofold effect, increasing HDL while decreasing triglycerides, as we saw in this study. Reasoning aside, this study shows us that for young women who are considered normal weight and are generally healthy in their biomarkers, a low carbohydrate diet, as described here, increases blood cholesterol, increasing HDL cholesterol, yet reduces blood fats, triglycerides. So if you fit that description, this should be of help to you and you can decide how to change your nutrition. But if you don't, I'd encourage you to look into the follow-up content in my detailed series investigating how low-carb diets affect our health or check out the comprehensive final verdict where I put everything together for you, assuming it's available. I hope to speak to you again and thank you for stopping by. Cheers.